very quickly before we get started um, this video actually includes two updates so um, the first update is uh, looking up uh, around Randall Street uh, looking down on the new entrance to Central Station and um, the second update which is in the last half of the video is actually going to be a lot closer view um, as um, a few days later Randall Street opened so um, yeah stick through for the whole video yeah G'day everyone, welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. I'm currently on Randall Street in Surrey Hills. Uh, in front of us we have what's left, <laughs> which isn't much, of uh, the RC Henderson building, uh, which burnt down a few weeks ago. Uh, this shorter brick building that you can see here is the rear of the new Chalmers Street entrance to Central Station, which will take you down into the Central Walk. Um, this was meant to open when the rest of Central Walk did. However, due to the fire and due to a wall collapse, um, on the RC Henderson building damaging the new entrance um, it didn't happen but yeah this building here that you see is the new is the rear of the new entrance there's the damage on the roof of the new entrance uh, damaging a bit of equipment and uh, brickwork Not too sure how long it's going to take to repair uh, the roof of this new entrance. But if there's any news um, from now, I'm pretty sure I'll keep you all updated. All right, next update. A few days later. Oh, there we go. Okay, so today is the 25th, Sunday the 25th of um, June, 2023. Um, so Randall Street's open, Randall Street's up there and I'm standing on Randall Lane now, which is actually looking on the back of um, Central Station, the new entrance. So um, we can get a bit of a better look. Alright, so here's a new entrance. I Look, I, I'm no expert. I don't know what's what and what needs to re be repaired and, you know, the things that you can't see that have been damaged. Uh, but hopefully things will be able to be um, fixed uh, soonish so that the new entrance can be open. They've got, a, they've got some scaffolding there with a good old staircase that it can get up onto the roof to um, continue throwing bricks and things that are still stuck up on this little part on the roof there, which there was some equipment up there that was completely totaled due to the fire. You've got some lights along here that were also damaged all along. Uh, CCTV just there. Um, in a bit of an awkward position. Um, something hanging out there. <clears throat> but that's looking, looking through this little arch, looks um, out and down to Chalmers Street. So Randall Lane was a, which Randall Lane is what I'm on now, is um, yeah one of the entrances. Entrance points to Central Station, the new entrance. 
Um, they've just got a bit of cleanup work to do here. Um, a pile of wood and everything like that that's got to go. Uh, damaged office building across the road there. All these updates um, of the actual building fire and everything itself is actually on my other YouTube channel, Abandoned Oz. Um, this apartment building here, the heat and everything from the fire, it literally stripped back some of the some of the material, so it's quite damaged. I don't think that people will be able to go back for some weeks or even a month, maybe more. Uh, but yeah, I'm not too sure. It, this place, could, this part could open in a couple of weeks, could open in a couple of months, um, just because you can't see too much. Uh, damage from the outside, just, you know, damaged brickwork and this uh, contraption on the roof. It doesn't mean there isn't anything, any more internal damage, so, so to speak, you know, um, melted wiring, I guess, from the heat of the fire, all that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Sydney Trains Vlogs, favorite the video, and I will catch you all next time. Goodbye for now.